Hi, and welcome to Girls Gotta Glide. I'm in RV. I have had so much work to do preparing RV for me <laughs> because I want to be comfortable and in beautiful nature in this amazing campground in upstate New York. I am getting on bike again. I crashed. I was on like this main road and the asphalt was like about this high off the side and I just like swerved because I'm not used to riding with cars literally coming at me so quick to jump back on the curb. I knew better when I was doing it. Like, I don't think it's going to do it because the tires are so thin on a road bike that it just doesn't have the capacity. So it like sort of skidded against the curb. And then I went down and by the grace, there wasn't a car had just passed me because I went down in the road, but my quad landed right on where it went down and I literally watched my elbow like slam against the ground and and I see I like went down and just slid and I my quad had this huge dent in it I was so freaked out and this is me when I'm freaked out I just go like I don't stop I don't stop. I don't like make sure I'm okay. I just like got right back on my bike and went. I went to this Green Goddess Bakery, which is such a sweet little place. And I got a juice and ice and I put ice on it. And oh my God, I, I nearly fainted right there. I'd never had um, experienced pain like that in that way before. It was really painful. I haven't been on my bike since. Um, which was just yesterday I took the day off and get on bike and go to town today and get a few things this is an amazing stop on girls gotta glide and for anybody going through some really difficult stuff like you know I would never have thought to look at RVs to rent in a campground because it just wasn't in my cosmology to think like that I highly recommend it reasonable, fun, beautiful, and um, there's, a, there's a, a gift in being with Mother Nature. There's a gift with being in a community where you're respected, that you're here alone, and that, you know, people aren't just showing up. Well, sometimes somebody will just show up, but it's, it's welcome because they respect your space so much. And just this camp life is amazing and there's part of me that just wants to stay till october and we'll see we'll see girls gotta glide we don't know um so here's my topic for today is um i'm struggling with uh beating myself up for making a huge mistake and and not stopping my bike and putting myself back on the road right and i at the same time in in beating myself up while beating myself up i'm not respecting the part of me that was having a hard time and scared of being on a big road with speeding cars and on my bike and i didn't even think to have that to have that thought to give myself that the love that I needed in order to feel somewhat safe because I don't know if you'll ever feel safe if, if you if you ever feel safe with speeding cars coming behind you it'll be a challenge for me um, because they're behind me and this whole thing of riding with cars I almost don't even get it it's like why why can't I ride against traffic so that I can see what's coming at me and work accordingly and so you know we all know that a lot of cyclists get hit and really injured or die because they've been hit by a car that either wasn't paying attention or something happened and they swerved into the bike so I'm dealing with a lot of um, feelings about that and so I'm just going to respect myself especially today on my ride and kind of work out this knot in my quad it's a really big lesson in like find yourself 
um, in a situation you're not really sure how to handle and you're questioning if you handle it in the way you do, stop and take a minute, gather your thoughts, gather yourself, and then get yourself back on the road, right? Like what a metaphor for life. I believe that everything happens for a reason. And so the reason that this happened to me was that I was really overextending myself. I had walked, ran eight miles to get my bike and then got bike and jumped right back on the road. I didn't have enough water. So I was out of water by the time I got back on the road and maybe I should have allowed the bike shop to give me some water instead of saying, no, I'm fine. I don't need water. And you know, like I'm so used to being a New York City girl and like, I got this. It's all good. I got the reality is, is that everything in our lives, I believe, is there to help us and support us. So I have just as much support as I'm willing to receive. Right? That's a big one. How much support am I willing to receive? You know, accepting the water is just like that one step further. So many lessons. And, you know, I don't have to be a hero. I'm enjoying this. I, I can't even explain it. I mean, I'm not even here a week. I'm ever so grateful to have this opportunity and to be taking the space for myself and um, to be chilling out with Mother Nature in a way that I haven't ever been able to do. I wouldn't even think, like I said, to be here and um, emotionally and physically because I was in Manhattan and I would never leave Manhattan because oh my god I, I am not leaving Manhattan oh. now I don't think I'll ever go back I don't I don't think I could live like that ever again somebody's above you somebody's below you somebody's on either side of you and you're like every time you get in the elevator you have to see somebody and every time you go through the lobby you have to see somebody and then you go outside and somebody's always behind you and somebody's always in front of you and there's just it's always somebody and there's never any space to just be alone and feel and breathe <laughs> this is me in I love you. rv i love you Okay, so this was my first trip into town on Bikey. And I wanted to show you my haul. All right, so this is my first time doing this, so bear with me. And if it's crazy, shaky, I'm sorry. This is me in my bike outfit. Yeah! <laughs> this is sort of a little glimpse of... Um, RV, but I'm not showing you much right now. I hauled on my back from town my haul. I'm calling it my town haul. I got this amazing nut farm, which they sell at Whole Foods. Oh my God, this is Chronicle. This I got for my tick remedy I had chronic Lyme twice so I'm not afraid of ticks at all but I know for a fact that eucalyptus about 50 drops in an oil and I'm using this oil because my muscles need it will ticks will run from you they will run they will be in the next state I hate eucalyptus hate it Coconut sugar, the preferred sugar of Ariana Harlow. Okay, this is just exciting to me. So I got a hummingbird feeder. Yeah, it's so exciting. So exciting. And I got and hummingbird feeder, from what I understand, never feed them the hummingbird mixture they give you. It's four parts of water to one part of sugar. So just mix it until the granules dissolve or make the water warm and dissolve the granules. Never feed them. It kills hummingbirds, the stuff they use in those other feeders. 
This is a bird feeder without being a bird feeder because they don't allow bird feeders at campsite. And I'm so excited because I love birds and I'm so excited. So these actually come separately. I just put them together to fit in my bag, but it'll hang. There's a chain and I bought some twine. Let's see, I got some carrots. This is so crazy. I got some incense because I love incense. Um, I'm going to try Mr. Clean on the rest of the awning and a sprouting lid for my jars. I have sprouting things, but I didn't bring them. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. I'm so excited for these. Okay. Wait. <laughs> okay. My flip flops just in case I needed them. I got these beautiful seeds. Look at how beautiful that packaging is. This, I guess, is milkweed. It attracts butterflies. I got sunflowers and broccoli and parsley and sunflower. Yeah, I don't know. So I got a bunch of seeds. Oh, and I am so excited to plant. Oh, this one, I'm so excited. Peas. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, so my style. And then I got this, I got at the berry farm. So the berry farm, I don't know what the name of the street it was on, but it's in, um, okay, one second. I'm gonna put you down. The Berry Farm sells all organic. I got twine to hang my bird feeder and my hummingbird feeder. All organic veggies and flowers and, um, and some food too. <gasps> Look at this beautiful thyme. Oh my God. Is that not the most beautiful thyme you've ever seen? And it smells, oh my, it smells so good. I got, I'm kind of mint crazy. So here's a certain kind of mint. Here's another kind of mint. And then I got kale. Another kind of mint. Emerald and gold. I'm crazy for mint, you have no idea. I love mint. And then, the, so two kales. Okay, let's see, did I empty my bag? Some yeast in case I wanna bake some bread. My neighbor's Wi-Fi password so I can get on Wi-Fi. That's it, I did it. So look, this is my food haul. Well, I would say it's my necessities haul because it's not just food. Honestly, I'm right now because I did 19 miles, which is, I was hoping to do 20 or 22 at least, but there were a lot of hills and this was really heavy on my back and um, I'm gonna now I'll show you so this is one side of the awning and that is the other look at that I'm gonna finish the awning and do my garden this afternoon it's three o'clock so I would say I have a good three hours so right now I'm gonna make myself an amazing rice cake or two with this ridiculously tasting. I mean, this is like mixed nut butter. It's cashew, almonds, and pecans. This is, I can't even tell you. It was so chronicle and I love that they let you taste. I just wanna bring all my friends there. And I'm gonna hang my bird feeders. So I may give you an after look, okay?